Welcome to Brian Beeler's Round Em Up. It's going to be April 23rd for sale. 60 plus classic cars and trucks under 10K. It's going to be a mystery search. It's going to be a 10,000 subscriber special thank you. So this is a big thank you to all the people who have subscribed to my channel over the last three years. Again, if you're a new viewer, thanks for tuning in. We are finding cars that are currently posted within the last 24 hours for sale. I don't own any of them, but I have simply put them in price order from lowest to highest. So let's get started. It's going to be Craigslist only. So if you want to find any of these cars that went online for sale in the past 24 hours, you can go to Craigslist, go to the area that I show you, punch in this description, and you will find all these cars are currently listed. It's going to be in Montana. That's where we're going to kick off at. 1959 Nash Rambler four-door sedan project or with a question mark, 650 bucks. These Ramblers are cheap. So if you're looking for an old classic car that's cheap to build, build yourself a Rambler. You can find these all over. They're everywhere. And they're fairly cheap. So it's a good cheap car to kick off the episode, right? 650 bucks. Gonna be a 1986 Trans Am project car, thousand bucks, Longwood, Florida. So you can find this one in Florida. Just like the Camaros, this is a great choice of a vehicle to restore. If you're looking to learn how to do stuff, how to weld, how to wrench on a car, you've never had a hot rod classic at all, these are cool V8 cars. They're cheap. They're rusty, too, so you definitely want to look it over. But for parts, 1000 bucks can't get there fast enough. T-Top Automatic, Trans Am, 86, Florida. Going to be a classic convertible here, 1963, Plymouth Fury, 1500 bucks. 21 hours ago. This is Phoenix, Arizona. I dig this car a lot convertible looks like it's mostly all there missing the top taillights are pulled convertible includes a lot of original parts it's a great restoration project does not currently run or drive current mileage unknown again phoenix arizona you see i'm not wearing my glasses today actually burnt the top of my left foot today that's what gave me time to come in here and do some rounding them up. So thanks to the burn on the left foot, here we are. Two for one on the next listing. It's going to be 1965 Dodge Dart, 1600 bucks, 20 hours ago. I actually got some water blisters on the top of my foot. It's going to suck for healing. Phoenix, Arizona says two for one. Got to like the two for one deals, right, Mike? I don't know if Mike's been tuning in, but he's been getting stuffed on in his Cougars. Mike's from Florida, and he bought a couple Cougars off a of Rounding Them Up episode. Kind of like all the Comet Calientes and the Cyclone I bought off of these episodes of Rounding Them Up. 1967 International, 1800 bucks, posted two hours ago. This one is going to be in Colorado. For 67 International, it's pretty solid. Nice dash in it. Had a carpet dash. But all the gauges are still in there. I'm digging it. Stick shift. Had the V8. Sure does. Colorado on the International 67. It'll be a 1967 GMC 2500 regular cab long bed. This thing looks pretty good, right? Looking for a farm truck? Check out that back bumper. <laughs> I dig it. Cool truck. It's two grand. It's going to need some restoring to get it on the road. Most of you Chevy guys had that up and running in a day, right? 13 hours ago, California on the orange 67 Chevy long bed. Be a 1954 Chevy rack truck. Five window cab, two grand. 18 hours ago, this one got posted. It's going to be New York. Sure enough, New York. Probably no title, right? I've been told enough by all the New Yorkers that watch that y'all don't need titles. That's great. Here in Ohio, we do need a title. This one's going to say clean title. So I like the sounds of that. That's what he checked anyway. There's a description. It was posted 18 hours ago for the five-window Chevy. Got a stake bet on it. In 49K original miles, two-door, 1980 Mercury Zephyr Z7. That's how you're going to punch it in. $2,500 six hours ago when we got our first can't get there fast enough. It's going to be Washington State. 29,000 original miles on this. It's mint. 
Bucket seats, floor shift. Read that one out. There it is. Capital letters with the phone number. 2500 bucks. Clean title. That's the first you can't get there fast enough car. How beautiful. That's incredible. 49000 they were saying. It's going to be a 1983 Chevy G20. Three quarter ton van. 2500 bucks. It's going to be in Oregon. No back windows. I like the wheels. Red paint. This thing's awesome. What a great price at 2500 bucks. Another you can't get there fast enough. I was kind of scolded by one of our older subscribers that he can't restore stuff no more. Quit showing all the rusty junk. But I get it. We, we usually show stuff that you just can't afford to go buy those turnkeys. So we are going to ten grand. thanks to our 10,000 subscriber special here. And we will start seeing more cars you can maybe just jump in and drive. I like this old Dodge. It's orange, utility orange. It's got the wrong grill in it. That's not a 79 front grill, I don't believe. Maybe I'm wrong. It looks like a 71 to 74, 76 grill. I don't like the utility bed on it either, but that's me. The area on this one's going to be Colorado two hours ago for the orange 79 Dodge truck. 1959 Dodge Coronet Project. Three grand on this car. And I get it. Some of us are getting them too old to restore stuff like this. But if you're not, you're going to save a ton of money trying to have something beautiful. And build it yourself, you'll enjoy it more. Don't build it and flip it. Build it and keep it. Pass it down to your kids. It's going to be three grand on this. It's a lot of money. It's all tore apart. It's Dago. It's Phoenix, Arizona. I think we see a lot of stuff in Phoenix, Arizona to be buying that one. But if that's what you was looking for. 1979 Ford Bronco, three grand, 18 hours ago. Boy, don't this bring back the generation of doing this. Those were fun times, right? 79 Ford Bronco, three grand, 18 hours ago. Can't get there fast enough to save this old Bronco. It's going to be Texas. Love it. The tires, the rims, the front bumper. Cool truck. Go save that one from the woods. Got a 400 in it. The manual transmission. 38.5 Swampers. That's an awesome truck. That'd be a cool restoration right there. 1973 Camaro Z28 350 Posi with AC. 3300 bucks. 21 hours ago. Where's everybody headed? Connecticut. That's where everybody's headed right now. This is what you're looking for. Start heading that way. Check out that rear end pan they got on there. Yep, that's a cool car. Clean title. 73 Camaro Z28. 350, turbo 400, 342 positive rear end, F41, suspension, disc brakes, power steering, air conditioning, all the glass is good, fair condition, but very rusty. What year did you say this was? A 73. It's a cool one. That's what you're looking for. Yep, it's Connecticut. Pick of the day so far, right? 1984 VW Rabbit Hardtop. 3450 for this two hours ago. Everybody's like, man, what did you show that? My stepfather loved driving these. He had several of them. All the way up to the point of him going and buying a brand new Yugo. For 3450, I think's what the Yugo cost brand new. But yeah, he used to throw the miles on it too. So I don't know. I think it's kind of rare to even see one, but 3400 bucks. He used to buy it for two or three hundred bucks. And they also made them in diesel and they also made little trucks. Which we have one here in a little bit. So I don't know if I showed where it was at. If somebody's really interested in buying that. Good little throwback. California for the Volkswagen Rabbit. 84. And it actually looks like it's in really great shape. Other than a worn out seat and millions of miles, right? On to another. 1955 Dodge Royal. 3500 bucks. 19 hours ago. This just went on in Missouri. Hemi car, flathead. Not showing you under the hood, so I would guess the engine's gone. And it says 90, he has a 55. I always say I have, then that might help people think I own everything. But I definitely don't own any of the cars on the search. 55 Dodge Royal Ford, or in case you're tuning in for the first time, never seen one of our episodes. Craigslist is an old platform where we used to all buy cars until Marketplace came along, right? So a lot of people don't even look on this platform for cars no more. So hopefully I show you stuff. It wasn't listed on Marketplace. 
and in the last 24 hours, a lot of people are going to be able to go contact this guy and buy this. These are all still currently listed for sale as of today. April 23rd. 1941 GMC truck for sale. 3500 bucks. 18 hours ago on this one. I dig it. What a cool truck project right here. But again, it's just that. It's a project. 3500 bucks. 18 hours ago. Is it too much for a project in Arizona? Probably, because there's a lot of cool stuff in Arizona. Just saying, but if you're looking for that 41 GMC, right there's one. 1977 Lincoln Continental, 3700 bucks, posted four hours ago, Iowa. This car looks mint. Spent a couple hours detailing, buffing, waxing. This thing will look perfect. So you need a set of hubcaps and gasoline, 3700 bucks. Four hours ago, Iowa gotta dig we found something in Iowa and it's a 77 Lincoln 1965 Chevy El Camino we are gonna go somewhat fast we got a lot of cars at 10 grand and under this is gonna be 3850 that's where we're at in the price 20 hours ago on this all right 65 El Camino it's gonna be in Illinois we're outside of Chicago Got some garden hose clear on it. Looked real nice and shiny for being doll faded paint. Still got the six cylinder in it. Got some maybe Oldsmobile wheels on it. Rusted out floors. Maybe a good frame. Rusted out quarters. 3,800. I think it's a lot. It's me. 1970 El Camino. 4,000. That's what they're asking for this one. That's where we're at with the money. It's four grand. It's going to be California. Looks a lot better than the other one, right? Much more desirable year. 70. 1970 El Camino rebuilt transmission and motor needs intake manifold and carb. Has the interior original parts. Group stuff. So door panels. He's got some stuff coming with it. Hopefully he's got these pieces that go around the headlight bezels. They're the ones with the split signals. Those are going to cost you a lot of money. One year only. Cool El Camino. 1984 Chevrolet Camaro Z28 with T-tops 44.50 under five grand 17 hours ago. The guy looking for something to cruise right now. There's a T-top car, man. Cruise it to the car shows. Yep, for under five grand. So there's the listing, clean title. Where you gotta go to get the Camaro? It's done. Portland, Oregon. That's where it's at. Turnkey Camaro. 1953 Chevy. 3100 short bed, 4500 bucks 16 hours ago. It's tore apart, but it looks clean. 4500 bucks. You tell me, is that what you're looking for? Is a 53 Chevy? In California? Well, we found you one right there. 4500 bucks just went on 16 hours ago. This would be a 1967 Firebird convertible, $4,800 20 hours ago. And it's going to be in New Mexico for the convertible 67. My buddy, him and his dad bought one of these a year or two ago. I showed it on the channel. I restored a 70 Firebird we cloned into a Trans Am. This has the epic air cleaner. If you don't get there soon enough, this might just be a carcass, burned up carcass sitting here. No, I don't think it runs. You're not going to have to worry about that air cleaner and burning it down. Unless it does say it does run. Needs total restoration. Does have a 428 motor, automatic trans, floors, parts are good for restore. Good title, 4,800 bucks. It's the worst air cleaner you could ever throw on there. But if you're not driving it, it's just fine. If you're not going to start it up, it's perfect for keeping stuff from getting in there. But it's made out of foam. It'll suck through the carburetor, or you'll backfire and spit fuel into it. What usually happens, and then it goes up in a big flame on the top here, and then you see all this oil on the bottom of the hood. That catches on fire, and then before you know it, the hood's engulfed. Never run this air cleaner. It's not a good idea. I can't believe they've ever sold it as long as they have. And how many cars I've had to tow over 20 years and re help them get their car fixed, repaint the hood because they was able to put it out in time. But if you weren't able to put it out in time, it'll get right into this cow and into your dash and it's done and then the integrity of the metal's gone once it gets engulfed it's just a tip of advice and could have been a better episode than a 10,000 subscriber special for us to see one of those on to another one 1967 but you're going to want to punch it in as 
a 67 Morris Minor. You always want to type it in exactly how they have it typed up, even if it's incorrect, if you're looking to find that exact vehicle. This is going to be in Ohio. 21 hours ago, this car looks mint. $4,900 does sound like a lot, but man, that looks like a lot of car for such a little car for 4900 bucks. I gotta tell you, I like it. It's not been turned into some pro mod drag car yet. Cool, super cool, looking for original. 1968 Pontiac GTO, 4900 24 hours ago. I know I had somebody hit me up on Facebook, which I don't have a lot of Facebook friends on there, so I don't accept anybody in there unless I really know you're your close friend or family. And not even a lot of families on my Facebook. But anyway, he messaged me wanting him to give him heads ups on these GTOs I find all the time. I'm like a bloodhound for finding cars. I am. That's what I've done my whole life is find cars for sale. So you probably would have liked to heard about this first and me not put it on an episode. But that's not how it works. You know, first see, first come, first serve. It's $4,900, y'all. Start heading that way. Springfield, Missouri. It's real close to that junkyard we've been showing everybody. So that might be where he bought it from, no idea. But if you're looking for a 68 GOAT, we got one right there, 24 hours ago. Clean title, real 242 Judge. No motor, no trans. Does have some rust, missing seats, console. Does have the dash. That's what you get for description, Missouri. 1964 Impala, four door, five grand, two hours ago on this Impala. It's gonna be British Columbia? I believe so. So one for all of our Canadian fans, which I know we have a lot that love watching in Canada. I love having you guys for subscribers. Thanks for subscribing to everybody. And especially in Canada. It's pretty cool, man. Pretty cool that y'all have tuned in to watch me showing you cars for sale. And again, we're going to get back to specific searches real soon. 1970 Nova SS, but then everybody's going to miss these mystery searches. So there was like a year we went without doing any mystery searches. It was specifically just what subscribers were wanting to see. But you can tell on these mystery searches, we don't know what the next car is going to be. A lot more variety of cars for sale. A lot more variety of people watching. So a lot of people don't like watching Ford. A lot of people don't like watching Chevy. I love everything. So I like everything classic. So it doesn't bother me that we're looking at Pontiacs and Buicks and Oldsmobiles. I dig all of them, man. 70 Nova here, SS, big desirable car. I know a lot of you have seen on the channel, I've restored a 68 for my dad that we just did a brake swap on not long ago. It's on the channel. I do have my son's comment on the channel, a couple of my comments on the channel. It's not always just about me finding cars. It's just what I post up a lot is finding cars for people, looking for cars. 1984, that was a great deal on the Nova. If you're looking for a Nova, it's hard to find a Nova anywhere. So... An SS70 for five grand. We'll show you where it's at. We won't be mean. It's Colorado, Denver, Colorado on the 70 Nova with a clean title. We didn't read it out. There's a description if you want to pause it up. But the best way to do it is just look them up. I'm just showing you where they're at and how much they are. 1985 Mercury Capri RS T Top, five grand on this one. Dig this aluminum slots. Four lug. Wasn't the same on the other side though. He only had one. Cool car. It's a Capri, not a Mustang. Just like a Mustang. Five-liter engine with a five-speed manual. I like it even more. It is missing a nice set of wheels. Definitely needs washed and buffed. T-top car. Got to watch the front. Likes to rust out in these, too. So, I mean, you can always change up the front suspension if it is rotted up in them areas. But, showed you where it's at. Florida, looking for an 85 Mercury Capri. There's one. Looks like we're saving too. 1980s Chevy SWB for short wheelbase, gonna be a truck. That's how you're gonna punch it in. It's 80s Chevy SWB. It's posted 20 hours ago. This is gonna be in Texas. I think we showed the truck before in search. So he just, you gotta watch Craigslist, doesn't let people post stuff for over 30 days. So after 30 days, people have to repost it. That's why you see so much that's been posted within the last 24 hours on Craigslist. It's because they don't let people keep ads running for years. Nice looking short bed Chevy. If that's what you're looking for in Texas, we found you one right there for five grand. It's pretty rough sitting with bare metal outside. 1979 Ford Bronco XLT. 
Looks like it's shining pretty good because everything's wet. And I don't think it was, I think it was a uh, overcast clear on this. Everything looks wet. It's not the garden hose clear. Still looks pretty good. Needs a set of wheels. Got a round them up train coming through on our 10,000 subscribers special. He's got a nice print out on here. Two hours ago, man. This thing just went on. Just like everything on this search, but two hours ago, Wisconsin. Got yourself a big set of wheels. That'd be a cool one. 1947 Chevy Fleet Line 5200. 22 hours ago on this one. It's going to be Georgia or South Carolina on the 47 Fleet Line. This thing's cool. It's a business coupe, isn't it? 47 Chevy Fleet Line. Don't have the trunk hump back on it. It's like a business coupe. This thing's badass. What a cool hot rod right here. He knows it too. He's wanting 5200 for this. Cool car. Missing the title on it. Really no description at all. 1959 Plymouth Fury four door sedan. 5500 bucks. Looking for Christine. It's pretty close. And it looks all still together. Other than this quarter panel's damn near ripped off of it. It's going to be in California. Sure enough, it's going to be in California, 59 Plymouth Fury 4-door. does say 4-door. don't show you a side shot of the car either, which is kind of suspicious of that quarter panel being yanked out the way it is. It's got a description on there, 20 hours ago. It hasn't been posted 24 hours quite yet. Cutlass, 1980, 5,500 bucks. That's how you're going to find this. Posted just four hours ago, California. It's got a club on it. Looks pretty clean inside. The engine looks pretty clean. The car looks clean. What a nice drive it to the shows right now. It's got garden hose clear on it. At least in a couple of pictures it did. Also had a club on it so nobody would steal it. It's white so that hides a lot. Not sure if it's a repaint. To read it out, there's the description. Be cautious on that one. That could be full of Bondo. But we're in California so maybe not. 1965 Ford Fairlane. I like all that Bondo stuff because I live here in Ohio and we get all kinds of rust. So people like have stuff like that that looks that good. It's usually full of cardboard and Bondo. Take a magnet or somebody with you. I always say that to younger guys that watch the channel. If you're trying to get into a classic car the first time, take your neighbor, your brother's uncle's cousin's nephew. Whoever you ask, this car guy is going to enjoy the thought of, man, he asked me to go check it out with him. And he'll even do a better job of checking it out than he would if he was buying it for himself, probably. So, 65 Ford Fairlane, 5500 bucks, 22 hours ago. I dig it, man. You can't get there fast enough. To at least make an offer, take a look at it. It's Texas. Like the American Racing Wheels. Engine compartment's done. Looks like it runs and drives. Beautiful dash. Nice interior. It's red paint. Had a new shot of Rust Me Resale Red on there. Yeah, that's a beautiful car. For a great price, huh? fifty-five hundred bucks. How are you gonna beat that? That's the pick of the day. Maybe till we seen this nineteen sixty-four Dodge Dart convertible project, fifty-five hundred dollars again. Sitting inside a garage, I always love that. If a car's been sitting somewhere for thirty, forty years, this is usually the best spot. I say usually because if the tires go flat and that frame gets close enough to this concrete, it'll eat it out just like it was sitting in the mud. I know that because I bought men numerous Newports, Imperials, New Yorkers, right out of people's garages for 50 bucks because of frames and torque bar, torsion bars have let loose. My leg, man. Oh, it's going to take me a while to heal up. I was hoping to start welding on my Cyclone quarter panel here real soon, but I don't know. Now I burnt my foot up pretty good. I guess we'll see how long it is so I can put a shoe on. California on this one, 1968 Ford Mustang. 5800 bucks. 16 hours ago. I have stopped wearing my glasses as much. I've noticed they start giving me a headache wearing them too much throughout the day. So that's why I'm not wearing them right now. Apologize if I've said wrong prices or how long they've been posted. I believe I've said everything right. From what I've seen, it's what I thought I saw. How about that? 68 Mustang. It's not a fastback, obviously. But it is a 68 Mustang. It's in California. Been on here for 16 hours. Says clean title. I don't know, cut it up, put a roof on it for what those cars cost, right? 1964 Ford F-356 grand, seven hours ago. 
for work truck, I'd like to give me a 64 just because I got the comments. It'd be cool to have a 64 to pull on a trailer out to the racetrack with. And this one's going to be in Florida. It's a dually. It's like what I'd need. Six cylinder in it. Thankfully, a racetrack's only like maybe 20 minutes away from me, so this would probably get it done, too. Hey, Bubba, you want to come say hi? Want to come say hi, everybody? Say hi, YouTube. Round them up. We got 10,000. Give thumbs ups. Yep, thumbs ups. Thanks, Bubba. Florida on the old 64 Ford. We ain't going to Florida, buddy. No, we'd find one in Ohio. Give me a Dodge van here, A100, 6,500 bucks, 17 hours ago. 17 hours ago, and it's going to be in Washington State. What a nice looking van. 6,500 bucks is the price. Look like some custom tail, like Cadillac taillight stuck in there. I do dig these vans. I've said numerous searches in the past. If you've never driven one, man, you got to drive one of these. It's too much fun. You'll be smiles the whole time. Sitting on half the wheel well under the seat. I dig it. It's a Dodge. I really dig it. I've had a couple of these. This one was a what year? 68. On to another one. 1950 Hudson Commander. Heard it right. 50 Hudson Commander. I did say where the truck was at, right? It was Washington State. This Hudson's going to be in Tennessee. Bubba hears me in here talking to cars, man. He's ready to go out in the garage and work on ours. Nice car. There's one. You want to cruise it? Interior looks like it's probably going to need to be redone. Doesn't look like it'd be comfortable to ride in just because it looked all original. But there's one you could probably get running for under 10 grand. But the guy that wanted me to go as high as ten grand, that looks like a ten thousand dollar car. Tennessee on the fifty Hudson. Forty nine Chevy Fleet Line, sixty five hundred, eighteen hours ago. Unlike this. Whole front clip laying off of it. It's always gonna be worth more money if you decide to sell your car to go out there and put them fenders back on and bolt it back up, man. It's a couple bolts, not even a couple hours. And I get it. Everybody's pressed for time. But once you start tearing them apart, it's gonna be real hard to get sixty five hundred bucks. It's going to be in Maryland for the 49 Fleet Line. Cool car. 1969 AMC SST with factory 390 AMX V8. 6590. Why would you buy any of that last stuff we just seen as projects? You could be cruising a car show in this. It's going to be detailed up under the hood, but that ain't going to take much work at all. And am I seeing a stick shift on the floor? You can't get there fast enough to buy this car. Sixty-five ninety. You seen the price? Been on here for twenty-four hours, so it has been a day posted, and it's gonna be in North Carolina. Nope, South Carolina, right at the border. South Carolina it does say North Carolina. There you go. It says both. <laughs> it's in the title. I don't know why I always skip over reading. How people do put it in the titles at times. But if you punch out the title, you know, obviously it has the area. You'll find this car. This thing's beautiful. Yep, that's a nice car. Looking for something to take straight to the car shows and you don't want to work on nothing later in your life? There you go, man. It's a four door. You can even throw the grandkids in the back. 1989 Corvette trades welcome. $6,900. It's going to be Missouri, right? It says right there. I always scroll out the map and make sure where they are because people like posting them up in different areas too. So you got to watch that with Craigslist. Hopefully I'm showing you where they're at. They're actually at. And it's not on every. Usually I don't run those ads. If I catch that this thing's listed in 50 different states, I will not show it. Even though we only show 48. I won't show it. So I don't show deceiving ads. A lot of people that's been watching for three years know that. I don't show stuff that's posted for a dollar, for free, 55, meaning 55,000. We don't show that either, usually. So, we're looking for real ads. We're not looking for stuff where people come out here and put garden hose clear on it like this and are deceitful. And usually when I notice it, I mention it. So, I'm not sure this is overcast clear. This is probably from a garden hose. It's Missouri. It's $6,900. You want to read it out? It's got a clean title. 
Magnaflow exhaust, American Racing Wheels, 147,000. That's all it says. And here's the 1982 VW diesel pickup I mentioned. Man, he wants almost seven grand for this. Is that a good deal? I don't know. It's at the car wash, so it's got some car wash clear. It's a stick shift, too. All of them were. This one's diesel. So looking for something small and diesel. Well, we found it. Where you got to go to get it? Washington State. The Chevelle two doors. 7500 bucks five hours ago. This one's going to be in Illinois five hours ago. Nice looking. Is that a four door? It's got to be, right? No, it's a two door. 7500 bucks. That's an awesome car. Still got the six cylinder in it, so there's your catch. Definitely not a super sport. Hasn't been ripped apart. Still got your gas mileage engine in it. We're going to get some good gas mileage. There it is. It's in Chicago. Always be careful going and buying something off Craigslist, but Chicago especially, right? 1956 Chevy pickup. $7,500, 21 hours ago. That's a nice truck. I dig it. Stepside bed. Probably California. Nope, Arizona. So like I said, we see a lot of nice stuff in Arizona. It's 7500 bucks in that one, though. Bezels are missing. No chrome bumpers. Chrome grill change up that truck a lot. I'd rather have this for 7500 bucks, but that's me. 1975 Chevrolet Chevelle Malibu Wagon. Posted eight hours ago. Cleveland, Ohio, Akron area. Man, is this a cool car or what? To the guy that's been wanting to see the Laguna Chevelles, here we go. 75 Malibu Wagon. It's not going to get no cleaner than that. 7500 bucks. New pick of the day. I don't know, maybe. I love the wagons. And that one's a cool one. Can't get there fast enough. Check that out. That's what you're looking for. 1980 Chevy Corvette. I-82. 182. That's what he's got it posted up. St. Louis, Missouri. It's got a cool hood on it. Not exactly my flavor. It's the rest of me resale reds. Eight grand. It's got some nice Corvette wheels on it still. Some repair done to the front end. Ripped up seat. I don't know. Price is eight grand. That's where we're at. It's eight grand. 57 Chevy Bel Air two door post project. Eight grand. 23 hours ago. Can't get there fast enough. Looking for a real two door Chevy. It's New York. No, you don't need a title in New York after it's 20 years old or whatever, 25 years old. Get on it. New York, looking for a 57. We found you one. It's a post. It's got an LS engine and training coming with it. Clean title. Eight grand on the 57. 69 Lincoln Continental Mark III. Eight grand. Looks like it might have had some garden hose clear on it there for a minute. Could have been just knocking the dust off it. Got aluminum trailer wheels on it. Got some nice black interior. Some nice looking black paint. I'm liking it. Other than the trailer wheels. Nice looking Lincoln. Denver, Colorado. Eight grand two hours ago on that one. 1974 International Scout 2-2. 2, 2. 82.50 is the price. Been posted six hours ago. Oregon State. I do dig those big deep dish slots ahead on the back. So it's had some upgraded suspension too. So Oregon looking for a four-wheeler project. It's got a lot of money dumped into it already. That's what it looks like you got right there. Four-speed manual, Dana 44 up front, Dana 60. Check them out. 1960 Ford Big Bag Glass pickup. 8500 bucks. It's a cool truck. About the style of wheels. We look good with chrome wheels. Got a newer engine in it too, so probably sitting on a different chassis maybe. 60 Deluxe cab, drafted on to a 2002 Expedition. So there you go. Got the new dash and everything in it. That's what you're looking for, 8,500 bucks. That was a big project to sell for 8,500 bucks. Depending on how bad that's hacked together, you have to check it out in person. 1958 Rambler Super, very good condition, 8,700 bucks, two hours ago. This car's meant. Drive it to the car show. Looking for turnkeys. Here we go. We got you one. 
been pretty upset with me. A few viewers that we haven't went over five grand because they haven't seen nothing like this. Where you don't have to work on it. Just go buy it and cruise it. Maintenance. That's it. Rambler. I wouldn't pay much more than that, though, because those cars are fairly cheap and you can get them all over. 1963 Oldsmobile F85 wagon, unlike this. 21 hours ago, this thing is absolutely awesome. Coolest wagon we've seen so far, nine grand. I love it. Is it a good price? Well, if it's what you're looking for, it's a, a cool classic wagon. It's a great price. It's going to be in Colorado. We've seen a lot of stuff posted in the last day in Colorado. It's going to be Seattle, Washington here, right? It's 1964 Oldsmobile Dynamic 88, two-door, nice classic cruiser, nine grand. That's how you're going to find it. Car don't look bad. Looks like they definitely cleaned it all up. Done a lot of work to this one, too. So what you're looking for is a big 64 Oldsmobile Dynamic 88. We found you one. Looks really nice. Nine grand. Still need paint unless you like to patina, right? 1956 Chevrolet Delray, 9500 bucks. It's going to be a four-door, but it's all together. You can probably drive it. Sure enough. For sale, 56 Chevy Delray, four-door. Car's a survivor. Equipped the original 283, four-barrel. V8 automatic transmission. Car runs and drives, brakes, fuel systems have been rebuilt. Here you go. Looking for a cruising, driving Chevy. Gonna need paint. Can't get there fast enough, right? 9500 bucks. drive it home. Or how about this? This is the pick of the day, and I don't think we're going to beat this, so this is going to be the pick of the day. Pennsylvania got the pick. Awesome. 76 Plymouth Roadrunner Hot Rod Sale Trade. Ninety-seven fifty Under ten grand. It's absolutely mint. Can't get there fast enough. Looking to buy yourself a Roadrunner 4-speed? Yeah. This is the pick of the day. Without a doubt, he's giving it away, right? 20 years, this would be the one to have. I, I tell you, it's pretty badass. I did like the black ones better, but man, this one looks pretty great. The Lari. Roadrunner, right? Four speed manual. 94K original miles. Yep, PA got the pick. Got a beautiful interior. Absolutely love it. All the way down to the original wheel. On to another one. 1957 Chevrolet 150 two-door wagon. 90, 9850. It's just hard. How would you want to go buy this? I've just seen that last one. I mean, you're going to have this on the road for a long time. And if you do, it's not going to be looking nothing like that last one. It does look all together. Well, what kind of engine we got stuffed in there? doesn't say. It looks like some big bob covers. Probably small block. Solid car, been sitting a long time. Bunch of parts in the back, as is. Has a big block sitting in it. So it is big block valve covers. It's just they're so rusty. And they kind of look a little weird. It's got a big block in it. He's not even sure what it is. Well, it's 98.50 for that. I'd rather have the Roadrunner. 74 Pontiac Ventura. This is pretty cool. $9,950. Portland Orange is where it's at. Port Orange, Florida. So looking for the Nova Pontiac Nova? Found one of those. Still had that plaid original interior. Kind of dig that. Got a lot of aftermarket stuff under the hood. Some chrome SSTs. It's a nice looking car. Does it compare to the Roadrunner though? I don't know. That Roadrunner is just a really good deal. It does have some nice dual exhaust sticking out of that big chrome bumper. On to another one. And we're almost at the 10 grand cutoff. 1957 Chevy Bel Air. $9,999 two hours ago. Can't get there fast enough. Looking for a 57 two door hard top. Found you one for under 10 grand. He'll give you a dollar back. Where you going, Philadelphia? So it was another one in PA with a clean title. Comes with the rebuilt 327. I like the sounds of that. Does have some parts available. That sounds like more money. It's going to be a 1967 crew cab Dodge three quarter ton, 10 grand. So we have made it to our cutoff. Posted 20 hours ago for this big old Dodge truck. Washington State. I wonder if that's the one they were out there doing the lumberjacking in when they got abducted, right? 
It's the same kind of truck they used in the movie. Uh, Travis Walton. So That'd be cool to find out if it was the one Travis Walton was really riding in. You could maybe buy the truck he was in. It does say Washington State, y'all. Can't even make that shit up. It is a cool crew cab truck. Coming with a Dodge sitting there. Maybe you're getting a diesel out of that. Sure enough, got a Cummings in the silver truck. So you're probably getting them both together. Wanting to build a cool quad cab 67 with a Cummings? Yeah, 10 grand gets you started. 1977 Monte Carlo S305, 10 grand. Love them rally wheels. Black paint. Again, I mentioned just an episode the other day. Got new tires. But I like the round headlights better than the square. But either way, they're both really cool body style cars. That's a nice one right there. It's like some pearl in that. Purple pearl in the paint, maybe. Probably wild in person if you can see it in the photo. It's New York. 77 Monte. We have a 1949 Chevy pickup, 10 grand. I like the racing wheels on it. It's definitely out patinaed up with a six cylinder. I don't know. You see 10 grand there? If that's what you're looking for, it's a 49 with a six cylinder all ready to go to the car shows. We found you one. Unless you want it painted, and you have to keep looking. Idaho. That's a nice one. Six cylinder, getting good gas mileage, cruising that thing all over. Got three more here, 10 grand. Give me a 53 Pontiac Chief. 10 grand, 17 hours ago. It's all together. Need some nice wheels put on it, but other than that, tune it up. Get a nice charged up 6 volt battery. Be on your way. It's California. 10 grand, 17 hours ago. Come and get it, it says. What we got here? 1969 GTO convertible, another goat. Ten grand six hours ago. This one's a rag top. This is gonna be in New Mexico. Looking for the convertible GTO. Found you one right there. Still had an engine in it too. 400. Motor needs overhauled. Price is firm. Called Joe. Joe got a rag top goat for ten grand. Seventy. You know it's a '69. Even better. Cool car, man. Cool car. And I put it right here in the episode. I did not show the gentleman that said, man, he'd give me a commission for finding these for him. So it's all you guys. Whoever wants to get on Craigslist, look it up. It's only been out here six hours as of me posting this video. And the last vehicle was a vet. It was, no, it was not a pick of the day. It just happened to be the last one we looked at. Doesn't look like it still had the garden hose clear on there. Looks like that it might have all dried up by the time he took photos. I believe it's actually got some nice paint on it. Some aftermarket seats. It's an 89. Oh. It's not me. It runs and drives very well. But if you're looking for that turnkey car, all blacked out, to go cruising in, you don't have to work on it. Well, there you go. We showed some of those today, too, in our search. I gotta tell you, that was the pick of the day right there. That should have been the last one. I just wasn't paying attention. After I put them in price order. Because again, didn't even think I'd get an episode done today. I was going to wait till we got a little closer to 10,000. Because we're like 80 subscribers away. But either way, I never dreamed of hitting 10,000. Thanks everybody. I appreciate it. And I know a lot of you have been like, man, I can't believe you spend as much time as you do looking for cars for other people. I enjoy looking at them. I really do. I mean, I've built and painted numerous of these cars over the years. I've enjoyed it. It's been some of the funnest time of my life. Been working on some old classic cars, so don't be afraid to buy one. You know, and again, if you're unfamiliar with what you're looking for, take somebody with you, man. Yes, old dudes dig going and checking out cars for sale, so you'd be surprised who'd be willing to go with you to check out your new new purchase of a classic car. So, with all that said, if you know, there's something you're specific you are looking for, feel free to drop those in the comments. We are going to get back to those. I know we're going to have people blowing us up in the future. Man, when are you going to do another mystery search? Because we're going to get back on to just specific what subscribers want to see. So and to know that, you got to drop it in the comments, y'all. Thanks for watching. Thanks to all you guys. Truly do mean it from the bottom of my heart. Thanks to all 10,000 of you. Until next time, be good, stay safe, and peace out.